like, and truly, like, if Pat Kane did get moved, you're not sure of what Pat Kane you will get. Yeah, I agree with that. And Taves is another guy. It's going to be, if I'm not mistaken, 35 years old, and there's there's a lot of wear and tear there. Mm -hmm. He's not healthy either. So outside of, of Timo, man, it it's limited on what you can I know there's huge names, but it's like, how do you know what you're going to get at this point? Yeah. I know. So, but Timo Meyer is he's a good player. He's legit 30, 40 goal scorer. He's got tremendous upside for a long time. He would, he would command a lot here. He would, you know, it's funny because, you know, obviously there's a, it's Toronto market, a lot of noise. The big names are in play. So this one has come up quite a bit lately. Um, at a rival network today, um, you know, there was mention of like Pat Kane picking a yeah. few destinations that he would actually go to and Toronto being one of the two. Um, you know, if that be- becomes available and you can't get Meyer, what do you think an acquisition cost on Pat Kane would be for the Leafs? Well, like it's not Matthew Nyes. Once you're dealing into... Uh a no movement situation. And I, I think the prime example was Claude Giroux yeah. leaving the Philadelphia Flyers and they had and, Owen Tippett and, in a couple seconds and, or something and going to, uh, to Florida. Yeah. And yeah, you're exactly right. So it's just, if, if in fact, Pat Kane says, okay, New York's off the market, I'll only go to Toronto. And you've got a young inexperienced general manager in Davidson who is staring down arguably uh, best player in franchise history, two of them, yep. and Taves and Kane. You want to be the guy to tell them, uh, I'm holding out for this the seventh round pick. But you know, the best thing he could do is that. The best thing he could do is at the start of his GM career, say all the Leafs were going to give me was a third for Pat Kane, and I'd just rather not disrespect Pat Kane like that, so I didn't trade him. I don't want your stinking third. But if Pat's coming back to you and say, I really want you to make this work. Yeah. And if you don't get me to a contender, yeah. I'm going to. Wow. Well, yeah. Listen, I, it, 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 you, you ruined my last two years. You got rid of this guy, this guy, this guy. I've been the good soldier. You gave soldier. me a crap sandwich for a year and a half. I've bit my tongue. I've played good veteran. I want to go to Toronto, make it happen. Or- <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're that's Kyle Davidson if he now. Stand up to that and dig in. Don't you think that would go um, miles for his own career? I, or would it I, bury I, him in Chicago? I get what you're saying, but yeah. you got to live with the the fact that you screwed Pat Kane over. Yeah, and that's not an easy thing to do. And and think you're going to stay a long time in Chicago. So funny because Pat Kane right? had Panarin, boom, success. He had Debrinket, boom, success. And now they're yeah. like, do it with. And this is the way it works for us, now. right? We we watch. Yeah. And it's like, well, if if you treated Pat Kane like that and he's won three Stanley Cups yeah. and he's like what sold a million jersey, what, what what happens when it's my turn yeah. and you're and, and I'm I'm at the end of the year and yeah. you don't get that seventh round pick and yeah. right? People yeah. watch. I want to be associated with Davidson as a general manager when he he didn't help Pat Kane out after all these years. It's so funny though, because Pat Kane is like I understand he's the left winger and the Leafs could use a left winger, but like not what they need, right? When we talk about Well he's Sammy play, he's playing on the right side with Tyler Johnson and Jason Dickinson. Sammy. Woof. Yes. When when you think about the needs of the Leafs, mm-hmm. does a Pat Kane and his style of play, and maybe he is uh small skilly. Maybe he gets his level back up to Pat Kane like but is that the first thing you say that the Leafs really need is a, 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 a super skilled 5, 10, 5'11 player? On one hand, no. But on the other hand, yes. You know, I wouldn't mind having a guy that's scored multiple massive goals in multiple big games, having a guy out there that's with Matthews, like a guy that knows what it's like to play in big situations. Like how many times over the last five years have the big guys gone silent in the biggest games 
ever. But this is why I'm okay with Pat Kane. In theory, did he, if he didn't cost them five point seven five million or whatever the, it's going to be after retention and whatever. Like if he was a guy that you could get cheap and low acquisition cost, maybe you could say, yeah, yeah I can see how that helps. But it's going to cost you that cap space, and it's going to cost you some asset. And anything over $10 million in all probability, and, and Timo Meyer is the same thing, uh, Eric Carlson's the same thing, is that even if you get a team to bite on uh, a percentage, are they really willing to go all the way with 50%? Yeah. And in, most often, you're going to have to invite a third team so you got to check them mix. a fourth to take on two million so maybe more yeah maybe you hold the team hostage for for that 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 holding pattern that i can't make a deal without you well that's a third round pick i'm sorry but yeah. that's what i want and now you're doing all this cap gymnastics another pick we're talking about and it's a guy you're not sure if he's healthy if he's going to move the needle if he even checks the box of what you need in terms of a Physical yeah. guy who, yeah. you know, like yeah. I, I understand what Pat King can do. He'll, he'll be involved in some goals for sure. Both ways.